supplemental material. Classroom activities. Note to listener: In this chapter, classroom activities come before discussion questions, because in the future, everything will be upside down. One, lose hope. Two, robots versus humans. Divide the class into robots and humans engaged in an epic battle of survival. To simulate post-apocalyptic combat, chart each side's academic achievement over the course of the semester. Highest grades win, but at what cost? Three, the year is twenty-five seventy-one. You have been convicted of thought crimes against Overlord Zargax and sentenced to life imprisonment on the toxic desert penal colony planet of Tuxalan Nine. Prove your innocence. Four, time machine. Turn your class into a time machine by making the students perform tedious busy work for the entire morning while you read a John Grisham novel. When they're done, close your book, point to the clock, and announce, "See, we're three hours in the future." Five, construct a well-ventilated, insulated underground shelter capable of withstanding a nuclear attack. Make sure it has ample room to stock non-perishable foods and is hooked up to a fresh water supply. You'll probably want to have it completed before April of next year. What do you mean, why? Don't worry about it. Just do it. Discussion questions. One: How will the changing demographic trends, specifically the increased prevalence of minorities, alter the socio-political landscape? Blah blah blah. Two. How will electronic or e-voting change our democracy? Will it become an e-democracy? In your answer, put the letter e before as many words as possible. Three. Where do you see democracy 500 years from now? How about 502 years? Four. What form of government would you like to see after our democracy finally eats itself, then shits itself out? And then reads its own self shit in 2007. Express your answer in tears. Five. Name three things about contemporary politics that seem like they're as bad as they could possibly be, but which we'll look back at in ten years with nostalgia for how simple a time it was. Six. According to Nostradamus, in the castle of Figueras on a misty day, a sovereign prince will be born of an infamous woman. Surname of breeches on the ground will make him posthumous. Never was there a king so very bad in his provenance. How did he know?